How do you get yourself back on track when you're trying to develop a new habit? Yesterday I was chatting about uh, this in particular, don't break the chain. Uh, if you're trying to build new habits, try, print out a calendar, mark the X's, and remember to, don't, remember to not break the chain. It's a Jerry Seinfeld reference, um, a tool that he's used about joke writing. I encourage you to check out that video from yesterday if you wanna learn more about that. But yesterday in the video I also mentioned about, I share a tip today about how to uh, get back on track if you find yourself off, like let's say you miss a day building your chain and then right away discouragement sets in, uh, doubt sets in, you start to talk negatively to yourself and it's so easy to just like let that one day go to two to three to four and then all of a sudden it's like the week's gone by and you're like, well, what's the point of starting again? I've already been so far off. And so something that has helped me tremendously over the years uh, I can't remember, if, I don't think this is, a, like I got it from anyone else. I just remember saying it to myself whenever I was getting off track is to, ask, to say to yourself or ask yourself the question, how quickly can you hit the reset button? Again, I know that sounds super simple, uh, but that's really the stuff that makes a difference in our lives is something that's simple and easy to remember. Ask yourself the question, how quickly can you hit the reset button? Because you're gonna fall off track, you're gonna miss days, you're gonna screw up, life's gonna happen, and then it's not going to be possible to be perfect. Like, you know, 365 days in a year to stay on track with doing something, not that it's impossible, but damn, it's hard to do. So if you find yourself getting off track because, you know, um, one, one day you went out and let's say you had a good time with your friends, you, you had a couple of drinks, you slept in, you're hungover, and you're like, okay, fuck, I missed today. How quickly can you hit the reset button? Let's get back on track the next day right away. You know, maybe um, something comes up in this world we're living with COVID and all of a sudden, you know, where your routine was, you just started going back to the workplace and now you gotta get back home again and your routine's off again. Okay, how quickly can you hit the reset button? Get back into your home routine. Just get back into the groove. Do the little things that really help set you up, whether that's just waking up at the same time um, you know, getting to a certain location, you know, maybe it's just reading a book. Maybe it's not even like absorbing the book, but just practicing reading again, like hit the reset button. Just get your, get your mind back into what you were doing before. Uh, I don't know if I need to elaborate on that too much more. Uh, like I said, it's just something that has really helped me over the years is, you know, when I fall off track, uh, you know, again, I'll reference this, you know, situation here. Get, uh, moving into a new new home, uh, trying to dial in the garage for the home gym. It's like there's so many mornings here I come to uh, to work out, but it's not even this a killer workout. Uh, you know, it happened like two days ago. I was off track because I was exhausted from doing the installation here that uh, I just had to like in my head say, you know, I may not get a killer workout in the next morning, but how quickly can I hit the reset button? to just get back in the groove of waking up at that, between that 5.30 and that 6.30 a.m. window. And I'm in that groove at least, so that's the first step to getting back into the gym, doing workouts, and then I can work on the workout. But I have to hit the reset button first just to get back in the groove of getting here, in the space, getting my mind in the, in the headspace to actually do the workout, and then I work on the next step. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned any other videos about this before. If you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook, I would say just hop over to YouTube. Well, you don't even need to. Um, there's a link always in the description on the YouTube videos. Uh, either way, just go to kevinremple.com. Just type my name in kevinremple.com. You can see a download there uh, so for the Resilience Toolbox Checklist, uh, 10 Steps Towards Mental Resilience. You can get that for free and uh, learn, more, learn a bit more about the tools and strategies that I've used over the years to develop my mental resilience. So. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, leave a comment below, anything that you found insightful about that or anything that's worked for you. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.